Hey guys, we're back in the zombie apocalypse after the firestorm last time. Wait a minute. So I was just about to talk about, you know, how well we did last time. We've only losing this one room. We didn't lose anyone else. Like none of the colonists had any issues. One got a little bit of heat stroke. Well, that's, that's fine. That's not a problem. Then I noticed this. I didn't know about this. Or this. Wait, what? Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I mean, they're gonna... They're gonna sort themselves out, probably. Reproduce... Oh, these are awake. These are actually awake. Oh, these are awake. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Rain, though. Rain is good. Rain is good. The active hive that just appeared. Not fantastic, but maybe maybe they'll deal with the zombies. Apparently, everyone's getting food poisoning. I don't know why. Apparently, it's an incompetent cook, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, they're pretty good cooks. I don't understand why they're having issues. It's beyond me. Um, so, another thing we did last time is start building on a mortar, finally. Finally got around to that so that we can start, you know, dealing with issues like this without having to go outside and deal with issues like this. Because, you know, there's, there's 243 of them currently covering our things. We did kill 100 of them. Like, we killed 100 of them. And there's just still, like, they replenished immediately. Yeah... We are also starting to deal with the fact that it's a volcanic winter, which, you know, is... You know what? Is there any point in... Is there any point in sowing this? I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's a volcanic winter because we wanted to get super awesome psychic powers. And Sappy, Sappy right here, uh, gains the ability to light up a room. They can summon a torch. Which, as you can imagine, is not ideal. I'm not super pleased with that fact. Um, like, out of all the abilities they could have got, they got the ability to light up a room. I... Yeah, I don't know. We are currently running out of steel. Um, I think we're out of steel. So, we're going to go start mining for some. We'll get some. Like, it's, it's easy enough to get some. Um, we need to do some over this room now. I don't really need a barracks anymore, I guess, at the moment. I mean, it's, it's a stone room now. I guess we could marble the floor and just make it into a kill room. You know? That's not a bad idea. It's not a terror. It's not the world's worst idea, to be fair. Um, concrete is one steel, pave tile is one seven steel, hex tile is seven steel. Mushroom stock planks, nah. Sis. Uh, marble tiles, only four per. Yeah. I mean, if there's a fire, to be fair, we should be fine if there's a fire now, because the wall's stone anyway. We should be okay. It takes a lot to set the stone walls on fire. Um, this still is a problem. If we get a fire up here, then they can burn their way in. But I can't, I can't do all about that right now, I guess. Um, not really. We just remove the floor here. That'd be great. I know you can't. I know you can. I was just being, being hopeful. Oh, see a little bit of legs back there. Yeah, stop those. Build those two. Build those two. Build the ones that are important, please. 
of course, we're still building on this room over here. I did start building a generator. But we're kind of out of steel, actually. Ah, Russia is dealing with the steel issue. Thank you. Because we need this. Because right now we're fine. But coming up, um, we're not going to have much sunlight. Sunlight is a big part of how we get power right now. Um, not great. Can I build on that? I can't build on that. Bridges are awful. Hmm. Yeah. That bit of terrain there is just not great. We now know biofuel refining. So, our transport pods uh, are going to be great for us. Oh, that was a thing. We need to start looking at making a bank for supercharging, didn't I? Somewhere to just supercharge everybody. Why is this class as a kitchen? Okay. I think the game is kind of insane. Um, so apparently our kitchen where our stoves are and our butcher's bench, that's that's the workshop. But over here is a kitchen. Like... There we go. I'll get rid of that. Now that's the kitchen. Now this is the workshop. Okay, apparently. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't, but sure. It doesn't, but sure. There we go. This could be the workshop room. That clears up some room in here. For just being a laboratory. Which is kind of important. Hmm. Uh, cancel that first. Well, I want him to do that bit. Yeah. There we go. Now, if you could just do the next one real quick. It shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, because this room's um, kind of sealed. It's just going to be a big airlock, I guess. For now. But that will help. That will help greatly. And we're going to learn to do transport giant spiders. Oh, wow. This will be interesting because all the giant spiders attack. Oh, maybe not. Oh. They took down the hive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why are you all... Oh, I got a little bit concerned then for a second. So I was like, why are they all pouring down there? Is that gate open? But uh, it's fine. Oh, wow. They could be seriously problematic, to be fair. Is that grown? You shouldn't have. A wild goose is self-tamed. I... What a silly goose. Um... Uh... Oh, it can only go in a pen? I am not sacrificing my people just to get to a goose. Not when there are this many... Many, uh, zombos around. 
What is that? Yeah, we're gonna lose the goose, but we never asked for the goose. Oh, Dan's actually tending to the tree. Not for long. Good to keep track on what he actually does nowadays because I don't know. <laughs> oh, that goes lands. But we have a cha chain shotgun. Why are you. Oh, we have a chain shotgun. Equip that, please, because it's obviously going to be so much better than the other one. Right, don't put fuel in there right now. We'll wait until we start getting low and solar power doesn't work and then it's an emergency backup. It's in here. It shouldn't really be in here, should it? Now that I think about it, because that wall's wooden and it can still burn through. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, mortar's not got a long firing range. Honestly. Not got a long firing range. Hmm. So, we need a second one over here. Well, that's fine. We can do that. Where are you guys all going? Oh, that Wow. Yeah, that that goose is that goose is cooked. Like all of those zombies going straight for that goose. It's, it's got no chance. We do have some mega spiders. Still chilling somehow. So they will attack these. But these will keep reproducing, so that's kind of interesting. These mega spiders can take on a lot. Uh, yeah, sorry. You were the one that tamed yourself. I didn't want you. Um, so don't force yourself on other people. Okay? Okay. It's kind of rude to do that, honestly. It's kind of rude. Okay. I like that we slowly just deal with issues. Like, we're getting better at dealing with stuff. I know it's a medical emergency. It's fine. It's fine. Some rifles. Yep, the wild goose. That's fine. Honestly, at this point, it's okay. It's okay. Hmm. It did blow up quite a big range, didn't it? Bug hive has reproduced itself. Wait, what? Oh, that's breads. Due for maintenance. Okay, okay. So they will end up. Uh, they will eventually all break down, maybe? I mean, to be fair, if they get close enough, I can just start blowing them up with the mortars and stuff. Would be fine. So, I'm thinking we do something along the lines of... Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Because we have things. Honestly, 
Nah, it shouldn't put wooden doors in here, honestly. Wild Goose Revenge. Da -da -doom. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Um, we, yeah. Something like this would be good. It slows them down more than all else, right? So, yeah. We've got wood. We can get wood. Other low objects, sir. Uh... There we go. And mine that out because it looks gross. There we go. And if all goes to hell, we can seal the room. The bug hive reproduces itself. See, that might become a problem. This might become a problem. We'll see. The due for maintenance stuff, though, should help us out because they are going to slowly die. But it's, it's very much a war of attrition at this point. Who wins? The insect colony or the zombies? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure who wins that fight. But we'll see. We will see. Da, 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 da. And yeah, we're building up in here. So that we can open that door if needs be. I built this the wrong way around. Uh, to be fair, I could just cancel that one. That'll be fine. Just so you know, we can have an exit there. Yeah, we want a fast door there, to be fair. Yeah. Because that door's not going to shut anytime soon. But... If we could just get them to come in and they can go around it's just it's a kill room for if we need it i'm not saying we will but i've been proven wrong time and time again <laughs> we could do with building them on every gate really um but we'll do one at a time for now that's the gate that i usually have the most trouble with honestly yeah so we'll just deal with that one for now yeah so that can hit there where they congregate and most of there where they congregate so that's fine oh wow do for maintenance that's good do for maintenance good 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 i believe i believe we've uh dealt with the insectoids let me know down in the comments if you think that they could have managed to overthrow the zombie overlords on our walls now or whether we'll actually survive I will catch you guys on the next one.